Explosive firecrackers greeted the arrival of Premier Wen Jiaobao at the Chinese embassy to the anger of protesters who were barely heard. Suddenly, there was mayhem. As the Premier arrived, fireworks and explosions were set off outside the Chinese embassy, and these protesters erupted, rushing forwards from the barricades, screaming abuse at the Premier. The police moved swiftly to block the protesters from reaching the embassy, felling them and quickly bringing in reinforcements to quell the disturbance. They pinned down many protesters, but later said they arrested just five. Pro-Tibet campaigners were furious at China's bid to obliterate their protest. It was disgusting that they had some big smoke screen and huge fireworks to try and drown us out. What have they got to hide? A lot. They've got a heavy conscience and they know it. The protesters want China out of Tibet, its once independent neighbor, but now subject to Chinese rule and the scene of a violent crackdown last spring when scores of Tibetans were reportedly killed, many more went missing. Tibetans in exile say the situation is still tense. There is no freedom of movement. People are scared and many of the Tibetans' families, their, their brothers, their father, been in prison or they don't know. Opposition leader David Cameron met Wen Jiaobao this morning and the Chinese Premier will have further meetings with the Prime Minister. The Chinese want to talk about strengthening their own economic position and reforming Western financial institutions. The human rights issue in Tibet was not, according to the Chinese, meant to be on the agenda. Saville, ITV News.